Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a quick look at the Valterra Easy Valve Electric Valve for your RV Blackwater tank. This allows you to have a, your Blackwater tank valve open and close via a remotely placed switch. So you don't have to get in to a hard to reach area to open up that switch. You can just place this in your control center uh, or really anywhere that you want it to be within the length of the wire to operate that opening and closing for your valve. It does come with the faceplate for the switch for your black water tank, but it does also come with another one for your gray water tank. So if you wanted to switch that out and then adapt this down to fit the size of your gray water tank, uh, since this is a three inch tube, you'd need to size it down to one and a quarter since that's the typical side of your gray water tank, but comes with the plate if you wanted to switch that out. So. That's an option there. The nice thing about it again is that we can operate this from a distance. So let's take a closer look and I'll show you how that works. Basically up at the top, we'll have our motor mechanism and there's also a manual override if the power ever goes out. We'll pop that up here and I've got this connected to power. So flip our switch and that opens up. You can see that red light comes on to let us know that the valve is open. Hit it again, closes up, light goes off. So pretty easy indicator to let us know whether or not that valve is open or closed. And really easy, quick response there. Again, if the power, your batteries were to die or the motor goes bad or something happens and you can't use the switch, you can always just operate it manually via the pull tab at the top. So just pull up on that operates it just like you would with any kind of manual switch. And there's no uh, button or anything that you have to press to get it to switch over to the manual operation. You can use it at any time. So there's no worries about that. This does have a three inch diameter hub. That's gonna be this larger section. That's gonna uh, be the portion that goes over the pipe. And then on the other side, we'll have our three inch spigot. So this is where it would go into the pipe or the pipe would go around it. You do want to make sure that you get some ABS solvent bond to seal up those connections to make sure that there's no uh, ingress of water or, or anything seeping in or out. That is sold separately. You can find that here at eTrailer.com. That part number is listed on the product page. Does The motor does have a built-in 5 amp breaker, so if anything were to happen, the system gets overloaded, you can just flip this switch here to reset that. and then be able to use it again. So there's no fuses to change out or replace, just helps you to keep everything protected, but then still be able to reset it without having to get access into the motor itself. The motor is a high torque, water resistant electric motor. So should be resistant to anything getting in there and causing any issues. Again, our passage is three inches in diameter. The wiring length is about eight feet. Uh, we have about nine inches coming off of the motor here and then another roughly seven feet of wiring going out from the switch. So you've got about that much length to work with to separate the two pieces out. The power draw for this is 2.5 amps and it does work with 12 volt compatible systems. You can see this wiring does have a quick disconnect so if anything were ever to happen with the switch or the motor you need to switch out one component over the other. You can undo this connection, separate them out, and then replace the part that you need to. Uh, same thing for any kind of wiring issues or anything like that. So that is one nice thing. Also kind of helps to make the install a bit easier as well by having a quick disconnect for that wiring. As far as measurements for the switch, it's gonna be the same for both the gray and black, but about three, and a half inches by about five inches. It does come with the screws to attach one of the, the face plates. So you don't have to worry about that. It's just a couple of three quarter inch screws to get that mounted up. But that about does it for our look at the Valterra Easy Valve Electric Waste Valve for your RV black water tank. I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right kit for you. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.